Creativity, Inc. Overcoming the Unseen Forces that Stand in the Way of True Inspiration by Ed Catmull is for anyone who wants to work in an environment that fosters and encourages creative thinking and problem solving. Author Ed Catmull, a co-founder of the successful movie company Pixar, believes regardless of the business, good leadership helps creative people of all types stay on the path to excellence. Commitment to a sustainable creative culture rooted in real excellence is a day-in, day-out, often uncomfortable, full-time job. Catmull shares his ideas on how to do it and make creativity not just a word, but a practice. We will share a few of the big ideas that we liked from the book. We start with candor and the brain trust. One hallmark of a healthy creative culture is people feel free to share ideas, opinions, and criticisms. As a concept, Catmull prefers candor to honesty. The word honesty carries baggage that can hold people back. Asking people for candor invites them to choose their words. Asking for honesty carries the force of an obligation. At Pixar, candor is practiced in what Catmull calls the brain trust. The idea is simple. Put smart, passionate, well-informed people in a room together and charge them with identifying and solving problems and encourage them to be candid with one another. Candor fuels trust. Without it, creative collaboration is impossible. A successful feedback system is built on empathy, on the idea that we are in this together. It takes time to develop trust with people and to express thoughts openly without fear, Catmull says. It is during this time we learn the language that makes up a good note. A note is another way to describe feedback, and a good note should inspire the recipient. It is important for its content, timing, and open-endedness. A good note includes what is wrong, what is missing, what isn't clear, what makes no sense, it comes at a timely moment, it doesn't make demands, it doesn't even have to include a fix, and most of all, it is specific. Getting the team right. Getting the team right comes before getting the ideas right. Give a good idea to a mediocre team and they will screw it up, Catmull says. Put a mediocre idea in the hands of a brilliant team and they will either fix it or throw it away and come up with something better. Saying you want talented people is easy, but how those people interact with each other is the true measure. Focus on how a team is performing, not on the talents of the individuals within it. Get the right people and the right chemistry first, then worry about ideas. Ideas though are not static, isolated things. Too many people look at ideas as singular, as if they are fully formed, independent of the people who wrestle with them, Catmull says. But that isn't true. At Pixar, for example, a movie is a multitude of ideas, thousands of decisions, not just one. Find, develop, and support good people, and they in turn will find, develop, and own good ideas. Fear and failure. In a fear-based, failure-averse culture, people will consciously or unconsciously avoid risk and repeat what has been good enough in the past. In a fearless culture, people will be more willing to explore new areas and take uncharted paths. When experimentation is seen as necessary and productive, not as a waste of time, people enjoy their work. Especially in creative endeavors, the concept of zero failures is counterproductive. Rather than trying to prevent errors, assume that people's intentions are good and that they want to solve problems. Management's job is not to prevent risk, but build the ability to recover. In creating a fearless and creative culture, leaders can talk about their mistakes and their part of them and make it safe for others to do the same. Employees are partners and part owners in a culture that shares problems and sensitive issues. When failure occurs, and it will, make a habit of asking, how should we get the most out of it? As a leader, demonstrate trust by responding well to failure. Trusting means that if someone makes a mistake, you trust they will act to help solve it. Leaders create a culture that rewards those who lift our aspirations, not just the bottom line. Balance and the unknown. Balance, in Catmull's view, involves 
Dynamic Responses to Rapidly Changing Environments A good manager must watch for areas in which balance has been lost, holding lightly to goals and firmly to intentions. A good manager in a creative company stays open to goals that change with new information and has the capacity to be surprised and let go of assumptions. Catmull uses the beast and the ugly baby to illustrate sustainable creativity and change that demands adjustments to maintain balance. The beast is any large group that needs to be fed an uninterrupted diet of new material and resources to function. An ugly baby at Pixar is the early mock-up of a film. For you, it may be the version one of your next project or business venture. The ugly baby is unformed, vulnerable, and incomplete. It needs nurturing and time to grow. Ugly babies have a hard time coexisting with the beast. Business as usual does not need protection. Creativity does. Part of the job is protecting your new ideas and projects, the ugly babies, from quick judgment from people who don't understand that a time of not so great allows something great to emerge. True balance means engaging in activities whose outcome and payoffs are not yet apparent. The goal is to have one foot in what you know and the other in the unknown. Comfort with the unknown is a big part of creative endeavors. If we shut out reality to keep things simple, we will not excel. Making room for the unknown taps originality and inspiration. Broaden your view. Organizations perceive the world through what they know and do. Creativity doesn't blossom under such constraints, and Pixar uses several methods to challenge preconceptions and improve collaboration. Here are a few to fuel a creative spark. Dailies, or solving problems together. Show incomplete work to colleagues and get constructive feedback midstream. Pixar holds master classes on how to see and think more expansively in which everyone shows incomplete work and everyone is free to make suggestions. This promotes people's ability to be open to others and increases creativity. Research trips. Take a trip. Go somewhere unexpected and you will come back changed. Trips outside your comfort zone challenge preconceived notions, fuel inspiration, and keep you creating rather than copying. Postmortems. Hold a meeting held shortly after a project is completed to explore what did and didn't work and try to consolidate lessons learned. Teach others who weren't involved and don't let resentments fester. Vary the format of postmortems. Remember, ask not for honesty, but candor. By understanding ways in which they aren't exceptional, companies can become exceptional. This has been our video review of the book, Creativity Inc. by Ed Catmull. This book takes an extensive look at leading and managing the ins and outs of a truly creative culture and company. It is a must-have for anyone who wants more guidance and self-awareness around creating a sustainable creative culture. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think.